Hello everyone! This video is about simplifying rational algebraic expressions. This is in response to the request of Ms. Zemery King in my latest video about problem solving involving systems of linear equations. So, Ms. Zemery, here is the video. The slides are originally from Mrs. Giselle Repuela Bartolome. I would also like to say thank you, Madam, for allowing me to use your slides. Simplifying Rational Algebraic Expressions, Lesson 1 What you need to know in this video Number 1, recall factoring polynomials And number 2, demonstrate understanding through organized solution and correct answer in simplifying algebraic expressions What's in? Let's start this lesson with Activity 1, Factor Me Choose from the banner the correct factors of each polynomials and write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So here we have a banner of factors. Uh, B plus D or the quantity of B plus D times the quantity of A minus C. And then we have the square of the difference of V and 3. We have the quantity of V minus 2 times the quantity of V minus 1. We have 13 times the quantity of 2 plus 3x. We have 4x minus 3. We have 3 times the quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 3. So I'm going to do number 1 as an example. So for number 1, we have 26 uh, plus 39x. So in order to solve for that or, or in order to factor that out, we are going to list the factors of 26 which are 13 and 2. And then, we also list the factors of 39x, which are 13 times 13 times x. So, you notice that there's 13 here in 26, and there is also 13 in 39. Now, that 13 there is common to both 26 and 39x, and so we call it the greatest common factor. Now, in order to express this into its factored form, we then divide 26 by 13, that will be 2. 39x divided by 13, that will be... 39x divided by 13, that will be 3x. So the factored form is 13 times the quantity of 2 plus 3x. Here. Now, for number 2, this can be answered using the common monomial factor. This number 3, you are going to divide first both terms by 3, and then what's left would be um, the difference of two squares. And then for number 4, this will be perfect square trinomial. And then for number 5, this will be uh, general trinomial where a is not where a is equal to 1 so you can check out my other videos for this these are actually the first six lessons that i have for this playlist and i will um put the links in the description box below now let's continue So what's new? Here we are going to practice how to express fractions in the lowest term. So just like what we did in the previous activity, we actually factor out each terms. So here, 13 is being factored out, but since it's a prime number, so it's going to be 13 and 1, so you may not write 1 there. For 26, the factors of 26 are 13 and 2. So now, we can factor out our 13 in the numerator and in the denominator so what's left in the numerator is one and what's left in the denominator is two so the answer is one half for number two we have 13 x squared over 26 x so the factors of 13 x squared are 13 times x times x for 26 that's 13 times 2 times x so again we factor out the common factors which are 13 and x what's left are x and 2 therefore the answer is x over 2 so what is rational algebraic expressions just like rational numbers 
rational algebraic expressions can be reduced to the lowest terms and that process is known as simplifying rational algebraic expressions. To reduce or simplify to lowest terms, the rational expression factor the polynomials in the numerator and denominator first and then you factor out the common factors or divide the numerator and the denominator by the common factors. Now, here are some examples. We have, here are examples of rational expressions. We have x squared y over 4xy squared, x squared minus 9, y squared over 3xy minus 9, y squared. We have 7x squared plus 20, 8x over x squared plus 8x plus 16. Then we have 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 over 2x cubed plus 11x squared plus 5x. So, let us factor out our number 1, which is x squared y over 4x y squared. Again, we begin by factoring. So, the factors of x, x squared y are x times x times y, and then for x, and then for 4xy squared, that's 4 times x times y times y. So, we factor out our x here in the numerator and in the, and in the denominator. And then the y here in the numerator and in the denominator. What's left in the numerator is x. And in the denominator are 4 and y. So, that's 4y. Now, if you want to... Um, simplify your rational expressions using the loss of exponents. Here is how we do it. In here, the whole number in the numerator is 1 and in the denominator is 4. So that will be 1 fourth. And that's already in the lowest term. Here in the numerator, there's x squared. And in the denominator, there's x. So the exponent of x here is 1. So you can subtract the exponents 2 minus 1. Here, 2 minus 1. For y, that would be the exponent of y here will be 1 and the exponent of y in the denominator is 2. So, that will be 1 minus 2. We are actually employing the power of quotient rule in here. So, that we will be able to simplify the exponents. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then you don't need to write that. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Now, in order to simplify this, we will just multiply. But take note that this one right here is y to the power of negative 1. And then, now here, we recall our negative exponents, which is a lesson in grade 7. That if you have a negative exponent, that means that it can be expressed as having a numerator of 1 and the denominator is the exponential number itself but the exponent will already be a positive so that means that that this will be one over y so one times x is x sorry one times x times one is x four times one times y is four y Now, let's go to example number 2. x squared minus 9y squared over 3xy minus 9y squared. So, x squared minus 9y squared can be factored out as x plus 3y or the quantity of x plus 3y times the quantity of x minus 3y. This is our difference of two squares. The factors are the sum and difference of two terms. For the denominator, we can factor out 3y as their common monomial factor. So, 3y times the quantity of x minus 3y. Now, we can factor out x minus 3y. What's left is x plus 3y over 3y. For number 3, we have 7x squared plus 28x over x squared plus 8x plus 16. So, here we can factor this out. We can get their common monomial factor, which is 7x. So, 7x times the quantity of x plus 4. And then for the denominator, this is a perfect square trinomial wherein the, the factored form is 
the square of a binomial and the square of a binomial can be expressed as something like this so instead of saying x the quantity of x plus 4 to the second power you can say the quantity of x plus 4 then times the quantity of x plus 4 for the sake of factoring so that we can see that we can factor out this x plus 4 and the x plus 4 here both in the numerator and the denominator so what's left is 7x over x plus 4 now for number 4 this will still be um, the perfect square trinomial so the factor form to that is the squ the square of a binomial and then for the denominator it's simply you get x you factor out the common monomial factor which is x and then you are left with um, a trinomial wherein a is not equal to 1 general trinomial wherein a is not equal to 1 and then you factor that out so the factors of 2x cubed plus 11x squared plus 5x are x times the quantity of 2x plus 1 times the quantity of x plus 5. Now the common between the two are 2x plus 1, so you we factor that out. What's left in the numerator is 2x plus 1, and then in the denominator is x times the quantity of x plus 5. Okay, so now it's your turn. So reduce the following uh, rational expressions or simplify them write each expression in the lowest terms on a separate sheet of paper and show your solution so you have five numbers to work on for number one this is common monomial factor for number two is also common monomial factor for number three is common monomial factor really very simple for number four this one right here is the difference of two squares and then for number five, this one right here, you can use common monomial factor. And then here is um, general trinomial where A is equal to one. So there I have given you clues so that you will be able to answer activity two faster. I hope that helps. Now here are what you need to remember. In simplifying rational algebraic expressions, factor the numerator and denominator using your knowledge in factoring. Then, factor out all common factors and apply the laws of exponents if necessary. Now, if A, B, and C are polynomials, then C over A, sorry, C A over C B is equal to A B because you can factor out your C, which is your common monomial factor. Where B and C are not equal to zero. Because what happens if B and C are equal to zero? Then your fraction will have a zero uh, denominator. So it will become undefined. The value in the denominator must not be equal to zero. Here's what you can do. Simplify each rational expression and write the matching letter on the blank above the answer. Again, use a separate sheet of paper for your solution and answer. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 numbers to work on. That's a lot. And then you're going to put here the answers. So here are the answers, and then the corresponding letters will be written on top. Here's more. Challenge. Suppose you want to paint a rectangular fence with a length of 1 half x plus 1 and a width of 4x minus 2. What would be the area of the fence that you will be painting? Challenge B. Suppose the area of the fence will be divided into 2x minus 1 paint. What would be the simplified form of the area that will be painted? There you go. We just finished this lesson. Thank you so much, Miss Zemery King, for your comments and suggestions. I really appreciate that. Once again, this has been your teacher. Miss Mary Kate, get involved and keep on learning. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell.